Dude, how big is this fish? Double ditch, double ditch. That was a ditch. That was a double ditch. Welcome back. So, if you missed the last video, me and John, we are winter camping out here on uh, Ivy Lake. And this, this lake is known for uh, having giants. Uh, it is a severe cold front. We've had ice. Uh, it's been bad conditions getting out here, but now we're out here. And we're scoping. We're scoping. We're double, we're double digit scoping. Dude, big school fish. Get him. Last video left off with John uh, catching a fish. I just picked up the camera again. There's a school of bass. I think they're bass. John is throwing the, the chandelier at him on live scope right now. Trying to get him to react. Do you think they're bass? No, I don't actually. One of them, well. Could be a school of spotted bass. Is there spotted bass out here? No, there are small ones. Small mouth. <clears throat> I was tweaking. False alarm. Okay, that's, that's, that's good, man. The folks, the folks at home want to see you tweak. We tweaking is good. Also, tweaking over bass happened? fishing. Now that the sun is coming out, there's some some boats. We were the first boat on the lake. Uh, now these boats are getting out here. So, anyways, uh, the goal today is for me to catch one of these. Oh, okay. My first OH fish. That's it. I got a uh, spinnerbait tied on. I'm probably gonna switch to an, an A rig here pretty soon. Um, and we've got Megatron's scopers. They're they're coming in. They're, they're coming in high. I mean, we went from no boats on the lake to all of a sudden a tournament just blasted off on the... It is Saturday morning. There might, there might be a little derb. There might be a cold winter derb going on. The frosty derb. I gotta get to casting. I've been uh, warming my hands up by the buddy heater. It's not how you catch a big fish, so... It's time to break the ice off the gods and start winding. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, that's eight plus probably. There you go. There you go. Yeah, I do. Let's see if it yep. works. There you go, buddy. Good line. Got her. There you go. Oh, oh my god, my god. Oh shit. Oh, Handline? Dude, how big is this fish? For real. It just came off. You still on? Yeah. How big is it? It's, it's not giant. One? No, it's not that bad. <laughs> Dude, Dude, just hand line. What the f just, my <laughs> reel just came undone. <laughs> what just happened? I have no idea. It's, it's about a five. Big yeah. Thought, yeah. What a belly. Holy crap. I was like, hand line? What are you talking about? Dude, my reel <laughs> just came undone for no and that was the weirdest cold man so I don't know. dude nice fish <laughs> that would only happen with us in the boat yeah the absolute googan classic right there i don't know what the crap happened with his real seat on that last fish but anyway it was an assist that was one of those googan moments i'll probably live on tiktok and instagram uh for a while only only happens in in our boats apparently abuse the power of the a rig this is the time you're this is it yeah, like, i don't really now throwing an a rig February. in the summer is like the best springtime maybe a springtime i just i'll take this graph off and i'll just go in shallow water but that's it's fun there is uh yeah it, it hits definitely different when it's cold there's there's no question about that like john said you can you can throw it in the summer and stuff for school and fish but it definitely shines uh in the in the winter time and catches big ones Seems like uh, we're kind of on this little flat point, mm -hmm. or in this depth. Yeah, 20 I don't know where we are in the point. Hit him, hit him. They're moving so quick. Damn it. Come back. See, it's Come not back. us, it's them. Look how quick they're moving. I would just crank it and see if they find it. You're right in their zone, I'm pretty sure. I am in their zone. I, I threw it in their neighborhood. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Oh, 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 come on. oh my God. Come and get it. Come get did that. Did I eat it? No. No. Dude just came up and licked you. it. He was just. I know. 
Just, oh, oh it's coming. He's still coming. coming. He's still coming. He's still coming. Oh my coming. god. Move the boat away. Move the boat away. I'm Just... not moving it at all. Oh my god. Dude. Oh my god. Wow, that's, really that's a good one. That is a good one. That's a. Oh god. She got girth. Yeah, that thing's got some. Uh, yeah, that's a big boy. Oh, oh boy. Here we go. Here you go, John. Here you go. Come on, get it. Oh my god. Come on, come on, come on. Get Go. Net. Other side. Here we go. That's a big one. That's a big one. Oh my god, that's a big one. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. What just happened? That might be another double digit. Oh dude, this is why we're out of here, baby. Oh my god. Holy sh. Stepping on your shit. rods, it doesn't matter. <laughs> on a oh saucy my swimmer. God, look at the head on Can that. You grab my camera. Holy. I think I just caught my second double digit oh. of the year. This was probably going to go 10 or 11. I don't even know. Rackley, to share this moment with my good buddy Rackley <laughs> is so oh. epic. Look oh. at that. 10.11. Yes, sir. Freaking pounder. 10 freaking pounder. Let's freaking go. I'm gonna send you back, old girl. I'll see you in spring. Holy dude, we just got a 10 pounder. Let's go. Oh my god, yes. It's <gasps> still recording. Still recording. Thank you. Still recording. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Come on, get it. Oh my god, come and come and come. Get go. All right, guys, so. I'm switching up here John uh, so John is definitely getting um, some strikes with uh, the double shandy here double chandelier here um, so he's rigged me up one obviously this isn't our Guggen stuff but you literally this thing is like over three ounces I, will, it would break will, my rod we, we are coming out with a rod that is going to be able to handle big things and stuff like this but we will we will meantime, we're, we're working on it yeah there's some there's a, a bait situation going on here guys on the edges the very outer edge you notice in this brush there's it's either big shad like individual shad like izzard shad or bluegill or really small uh crappies or something like that but they're they're basically large nuggets of protein Ooh, it's not like little thread fins that are messing around thread fins look more like a like bubble wad this is like actual individual fishies you know what it's it's not that cold out here when you're catching 10 pounders no, no, I feel, I, you know, it's so funny. The whole time we were out here, I'm thinking, God, I'm cold, I'm so cold, I'm so cold. And as soon as that happened, I haven't once thought to myself that it's cold. Matter of fact, it's pretty warm. It's very warm uh, feeling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at my deal. Look at my deal. I, I can catch five or six bass on my deal. There's one. Oh my God, John. Get it. Yeah. John, 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 John. May not oh, be yeah. enough. We heard it. Did you see that? He heard the splash. No, oh, you're good. He you're wants good. it. You're good. He heard it and he's wanting to he's wanting to see what that's all about. I'm going right over his head. I instantly like gripped the reel a little harder. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think he went down. Went down. He's like, I know what to do and I it's like just, they're so gun shy, I feel like they're just, yeah, get him. Get those random trees that are away from everything. Mm. There's no telling. There's one. See if you can get that one. Oh my god. Dude. Oh yeah, you're right oh on my god. Dude. See that? See that? You can see its tail. That's a Kong. That's a Kong. Come on, Rackle, you got this. You got this, dude. Oh, freaking A, bro. These big ones are smart. Ah, yeah, they are. They've seen it. They've seen it a time or two. Like the Vietnam bass. <laughs> That's 
certified that that's like i have no idea john i probably 12 plus though yo yeah 100 percent. wow double digit all day god damn i'm this me shake just knowing that there's fish like that down there that's another tree it's a different one a little, different. A little update for you so uh so far in this journey i'm still fishless but i've watched I don't know, eight or nine decent bass come up to my bait and then follow it for 10 yards or so and then turn away. It's a numbers game, you know? It's how many do you have to throw at to, until that one gets supercharged? What's crazy is I, I think John is right about the, the early morning, which seems completely weird with it being so cold, but there's still that low light bite going on. This water's so clear. And even though there was frost, or ice on our guides and, and line this morning, it seemed like there was more that would just come out and, and grab. So we may be looking at kind of a tough midday bite, but just gotta keep grinding. I mean, guys, 10 pounders swimming around in here. Think about if you didn't have a graph. I had no idea. And you had no idea, you'd be like, this sucks. Yeah. But at least you know there's fish down there, they're reacting, 100%. and it's enough confidence to keep you in this area. Sure, you might go through 30 fish, that don't want it but then 31 might be it, it, it definitely does give you confidence and you could say well okay there's i know that you can see those little bits of bait those little things that make a difference so you see if the fish are reacting to your bait we saw that they weren't reacting at all to john's single swim bait they're following the uh the umbrella rigs it does give you that opportunity and it keeps you interested you know, like John said, if I wasn't seeing any of this, I would be really bored. I mean, I'm, I'm used to grinding, but I would just be like, man, I need to move. I need to do something else just to kind of keep engaged. The right ones are in here. Megalodons. I got this dirty stash ready for him, too. Give him a big old sniff. <laughs> oh. Zoo. <laughs> it is now turned into an amusement park. It does feel good to be the first ones here, though. We were the first ones, not scared. And I gotta say, it, it paid off. And we're gonna do that every morning. We're gonna wake up, coffee, maybe a morning dookie, and then get out in the water right at sunrise. Okay. And have that little window. And then here's the thing: is today or maybe tomorrow we gotta figure out what we're gonna do. Like, how do we get them? How do we get them when it's 11? I forgot my flask, which is it's pretty important for keeping warm out here. So, and honestly, we need a little celebratory oh, yeah. shot. Oh, yeah. Got some Woodford. Um, thank you, o OSG, for, for my Christmas Woodford gift. We're gonna go get some of that, do a little cheers for, for a double D and uh, get regrouped out here. It's appropriate. Come bearing gifts. Ten pounder pulls. When when the cap's popping, you know something good just happened. <laughs> Unbelievable, my guy. Mm. How is Cheers, it? amigo. That's good stuff right there. Comanches, Comanches, I just need to tell a story. Oh my God, look how broad that fish is. What do we, that looks like a carp. That's over, that's uh, that might be a teener. That might be a teener, dude. My earring broke again, didn't it? Oh no, it didn't. Oh my God. I, I don't even know what I'm looking I at. I don't even, I, she was barely hooked too. I don't even know what I'm looking at either. This might go like, that fish is short, but it's a basketball. Barely hooked, one hook, one saucy on the outside. She swiped it. John, when it's over nine, I I don't know. I, I can don't tell know you. I can tell you what a nine is, and then I have no idea. What the f is going on right now, dude? <laughs> the head is absurd. <laughs> Put it in there, baby. Day oh hey, number one, two, we're figuring stuff out. What is this guy we doing? Were, we were just telling a story. I, I was like lax days cool. I was like, 
you know, we're just kind of up here and we'll, we'll like tell a story because we'll kill some time. And you're like, there's one coming, there's one coming, there's one coming. This That fish moved like a, like a, a trout profile-wise. Dude, it's, it's got so much meat. Look at the tail. That could be... It's definitely over what 10. Is, it's definitely over 10. Oh, it's definitely it's over the fattest 10. fish I've ever seen. Like the most wide. Dude, I'm not kidding you. You have to mount this fish because it's the widest fish I think I've ever seen. I wish we had a tape. This tape. looks like a crappie. Uh, yeah, here. I mean, it's slow, but we're getting them. How about y'all? But when, when you're bringing it in, I mean, did they hammer it or? Not all of them. That one destroyed it. But some of them will look at some it. Some of them just right follow it. Down. Yeah, or they'll just kind of follow it. Yeah. Uh, other times, they won't even, you'll think it's a carp. But there's, chances are, if you see a big blob on your screen, it's a bass. I caught a 10 uh, last summer on your on your worm. Oh, nice. Out yeah. here? No. I, uh, I don't know what to say anymore. I don't know. I don't really know. I mean, good luck Jim comes by. That was really weird, man. Jim Jim comes by, you hook in the fish. It was almost like it was almost like Jim was an angel. Yeah, Jim, I don't think I think if we turn back around right now, he'll be gone. Like it, right. He's not like that was just Shout out to Jim. Jim, if you watch our video. Wait, apparently he does he what? How does he know about our bait? He just likes our baits. He yeah, he got he, he caught a said ten, he's a worm guy. Caught a ten pounder on a worm out here. Jim Jim comes by with his good luck vibes. We're literally witnessing some super rare, incredible moments in fishing. And I'm so glad John just told me to come down here. Like this is incredible. I I was like if if it's not me, it's you. If it's you, it's not like we. Someone just has. To, someone other than myself, a part of the Googans, and a good friend has to witness this, because it's not going to be here forever. You're right. And I'm glad we're doing it. We, we bit the bullet. We got like two more days out here, man. Two more days of whiskey drinking and setting the hook and just have a good old freaking time. We're gonna keep watching old school and repeat every night. <laughs> oh my gosh! How big was that fish? Uh, Eleven. What I. Everywhere. It was weird because Jim was okay, there. So here, here's some stats. So this is actually one of the best days I've had out here because we're getting actually. This is the best day you've ever had in your life. In my life, period. Besides the 14. Besides the 14, we only caught another one other fish that day. So today we've got a, a four and a half, a four eight, a ten eleven, and eleven thirty three. So that was almost eleven and a half pounds. We have thirty pounds for four fish. We broke the dirty thirty with four bass. What on earth? What on earth? Right. What on earth, man? So this is one, this is one of the best days of, of bass fishing I've ever experienced in my life, and I haven't even caught a fish. That's how good it is. Here you go, friend. Thank you, buddy. Let's let's do a quick cheers, dude. Cheers. Cheers. Just a quick I love John plug, but John's been doing YouTube as long as I have. He moved down to Texas with the squad. How many years ago was that? I moved down here in 2018. 2018? All right, mostly fished up north for the majority of his life. Came down here, years of grinding the spring, um, trying to get that elusive double digit. It's incredibly hard, guys, to catch a double digit bass. My biggest bass ever, 11 pounds, four ounces. John, in the scope of a month, has caught three double digit bass a 14 a 10 and one that just broke my personal best by an ounce or two i think if i'm doing the math correct just a few minutes ago i can't think of anyone more deserving and i think it's awesome john so honestly let's just continue this sack buddy wow where's the fuck is that fish that's him right it's there following still following following it. still on Dude, that fish hammered me. Little guy. Yeah. I didn't even see him. I saw him at first. I didn't. I didn't realize he bit me. Fucking, I put two extra hooks on this thing. I still didn't want it. I'm not mad.
Got him. Got him? Yep. Good one? Fuck me. Nope. Some D's. Nice job, dude. A little blind caster, bud. There we go. I don't know which fish that was. I don't know but... what it was either. <laughs> dude, that's our. I mean, we got a limit. Yeah, we got a limit. Hell yeah. Oh, a little random fish. There we go. Oh, look at this jaw, man. Dude, he's chomped a time or two. He's maybe seen some lures. He's maybe seen some lures. Fish number five. Uh, that was a random cast. Like you saw a fish and then it disappeared. And then this one just kind of came out of nowhere. The red dot that I'm recording right now. Yeah, I'm recording. Oh, you're on my camera. Yeah. There we go. That's my first fish of the day. What's crazy is um, this is considered small. But it's big. everything else we're catching. And this is like a five pounder. Unbelievable. Cold. Absolutely cold fish. And that was our first like blind cast. I just kind of threw in that area where we saw the brush. And just kept it right in that brush line and trailing it above and doink. <laughs> look at that. When you look at this fish's mouth, Ooh. it's been caught before. Ooh. Somebody did not take proper care. I'm gonna take proper care, you sweet pea, don't worry. Oh, I got an extra big sniff for an awesome day for number five, man. You're going out here in the wintertime, you're not expecting to get a lot of bites, so number five is, is clutch. You want to weigh it? See what yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm gonna say 492 or 51. I'm gonna say 516. Built like a brick house, brick like house. all these other fish. Yeah, I know, right? I think you've about worn out this little scale part right here scale with all these dumb. giants. Oh, oh my God! Let me guess again. What's that? 606? 606? Are you serious? Dude, we've just been staring at just so many giant yeah. fish today that it's off. Oh, it's weird. That's awesome. That was a good fish. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let you go, baby. Put you back. Take good care of you. Somebody else can enjoy you. See ya. Oh, sure. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> so we have. We have, this is our weight right now. We've got 36.79. With, <laughs> with 36 pounds? Fish. Yeah, we broke the dirty 30 today. <sighs> nice job. All right, friends. <laughs> First fish of the day for me. And uh, honestly, this is this has been such a weird day, such a blur that, that it, it feels like it's 10.30 in the morning. And it's like in the afternoon, me and John have just been on a high all day with these big fish that we've seen and, and captured and you know you don't catch them all we get to get to look at them a lot on the live scope but um that one was just kind of a bonus fish just um i was i was throwing in an area where john had seen one and one followed but i threw past and just kind of kept it in that same depth reeling and just boom one got it so there we go we spanked it, we spanked it good man yeah, they're, they're 15, 15 foot of water. It's not like they're crazy deep or anything. So, ah, oh, it feels good, man. It feels good. We have captured a limit of bass today, and it, it's been absurd. The weight is absolutely absurd. I, I am pushing John to do at least a double mount of his <laughs> fishes today, and at least get a replica for the for the the Guggen. Uh, yeah, we need two of these. Guggen uh, office, man. Yep. It's absurd. With a big old saucy hanging out of its jowl. Just saucy, just meh. Mm. Here, we oh, oh. Here we go. Oh my god, there's what two. What was that? That was a fish, dude. That was, that was not a bass. There's, there's no one. way it was yes, that Yes, it was, quick. dude. That's exactly what the 11 looked like. No. Yes, I do not. I saw him on the tree and I was like, I'm not that quick. Yes. yes. I'm telling you, dude. I'm just a darter? I'm telling you. I wish you'd have held on the rod when that fish ate. It was as if someone was down there. Dunk. Yeah, like, yeah, just <laughs> maybe <laughs> myself, but yeah, <laughs> just like that. <laughs> oh, got him. Yep, I'm on. Dude, it feels big. Is it? It feels real big. Oh, it's a, what is this? No, I got it sideways. Sideways. 
<laughs> it's not very big. No, but I had an excited one. Nice job. Dude, that's the second time where I've like saw a fish and then not caught him and then just got in there and stink. honestly. I thought that was gonna be a double digit. <laughs> Dude, I mean Did you any... see the rod? Yes. That's an that's a eight foot rod. Eight foot extra heavy. Look at that black lip. Yeah. Unique. Yes, well, we have dinner tonight. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Right? A three pounder? Yeah, dude. That's you, just, you just toss those yeah. back. You're know? done with those. <laughs> wow. John, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty um, conservative on like, hey, get the net. But on that one, I would have told you like, if it would have gotten off, I would have been like, dude, that was, that, was a, that was a job. Eight plus for sure. Me. Yeah. Right where one should be. Uh, probably a tree. There's one, yeah. Yeah, that's a fish. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. a good sig. It's a good signature. Oh, yeah. You're right there. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. Come tight. Got him. Oh, he just bit Oh, he bit it. Oh, Pull back, pull back, pull back. Pull back. Got, him. Got him. Coming back. Decent. That's caught up. It's not a drive. Yeah. We'll take that. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> that one came, came after came it. Came backwards. Dude. dude, I missed him. That's awesome. It's probably about a four or five. Oh, no. Nah, uh, might be I six. I think they're deceptive. Ass. Like he's trying to curl. Look at the beef. Look at the beef, dude. <laughs> Beautiful. I mean, you just don't know. No, you, you just don't. don't know what you're getting. All right, folks, we're entering into the golden hour. This is the last low light part of the day. But the, we definitely saw more activity going uh, the low light hours. John just caught one, had a fish come after it, turned around, came back, which is great. We got a little bit of wind. So it's a good setup for this, this evening bite. And hopefully we'll get one or two more. Either way, oh my gosh, an incredible freaking day y'all incredible if you're not smashing the like button what's wrong with you you have you have bad blood just amazing we're gonna we've got elk steaks tonight we're gonna celebrate catching double d's out here my gosh giant located time to keep cast rock giants see you rock giants there he is got him got him net no Little, 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 little guy, little three, guy. three and a half, four. <laughs> he was like, they are following he, and eating he was now. Stocking it in yeah, the they, yeah, they're yeah, stocking they're it. It's insane. Like they, they really having that draft. You get to see how good they hunt. Absolutely. Oh, he hooks on there. Get, get it. Um, are you on him? I'm, he's I'm far out. He's looking for. I know. I'm, I'm coming in. I'm coming in. I'm coming in. Drop it. It's coming in. Here he is. There he is. He's coming for it. Is he? He's looking. Dude, that's a big fish. I just it might it. be a big no, one. No, I lost. I just lost a giant. He's looking. He's coming. Look at his tail. He's coming. He's looking. He's, he's migrating. Look at him. Oh my god. Dude. Why? I just lost a giant. He's just, he's, he's cheeky now. He was way he's bigger cheeky. than I thought. He's cheeky. He was he's, way bigger than yeah. I thought. Well, I thought eight, eight, eight plus. Eight plus. All day. All day. God. What happened? I don't know. I He slammed it and I set the hook and. You just, you just don't want to say pin. Tree or oh, okay. Oh, that's a tree. Oh, that, they are eating. Where we had three shots of pin. Can go back that way a little bit? Got him. Absolutely. You even air it. Awesome. This is the spot where we saw like four or five big ones and we said we're going to come back here at sundown. It's sundown. There's no one here. We might get lucky. Let's get it in. Look at that one go. Right on the nose as far as that cadence goes. Look at that. I'm dialed, buddy. Yeah. That ain't good. 
Come on, I got my sashi. There it goes. There it is. That's what it looks like. Slippery, Ooh. slippery stuff, man. Oh, you know why this? It's Dude, zebra zebs. muscles. Zebra muscles. I Holy was, cow! I this place has zebs. I forgot to tell you. Wow. Yeah. So this is one example of zebs doing a good thing. It did end up being kind of a nice day, John. Do you mean the weather, or do you mean the I, fishing? I was talking about the weather, but now that I said it out loud, I guess that kind of goes to just about everything. Yes, it does. Folks, we're entering our, our last cast right now. Um, sun's kind of going down, starting to get a little cooler. I think I'm done for the day. I think I think I got three fish. John, I think you caught six or seven, something like that. Two of them happen to be the biggest fish of your life. Two of the biggest fish of your life. Uh, two of the biggest fish of my life that I've witnessed personally, like netting, being part of, touching, feeling, smelling. And there's just not much more you can ask for, folks. I mean, even just to get out here was tough. Like getting through the snow, digging through the snow. And for the first day to be like this, oh my God goodness thank you we will take back to the trailer park right now head to the opus and i say we celebrate with some elk steaks elk steaks some brown water and uh just cheers the glasses because today was epic well y'all there's one more tale to be told today uh, we were about to go in to the trailer, but um, I was putting my rod down. John was like, one more spot. Sundown. Sundown, one more spot. I'm just going to link his channel down below. Let me just say, there's been three fish today caught. This man is on fire. You better go. You better go subscribe to the channel. You better smash every like button there is known to man. There's, uh, there's moments where you get in the zone. Today, Here this man go. got in the absolute freaking go. zone. No one is on the lake anymore. Everyone is gone, except still my, John. Still my sunglasses on. What am I doing? So that's that large mouth that was just falling in. We're gonna go right back down. There, there's the gizzies right there. You can all barely see him because he's moving Chad, so. All these gizzard chad are coming up in the low light hours. And that's how this final bass was caught today. That's all I'm, that's all I'm gonna say about it. I also, in in the chaos of all this, I lost John's rod with the other A rag on it. I apologize, John. <laughs> all we'll uh, we'll get you another one. Hey, listen, just, uh, let's just promise me we'll go spank him even more tomorrow. Yeah, we, yeah, we're on we're on day one. We're on day one. Sorry, right, day one. Those are all big gizzards. I don't understand. All big gizzards come up to the surface. It's 46 degrees. What are they doing? Dude, there's something different in this lake, man. This is a different kind of deal. Look at these. These look like crappie or white bass. They're shad. They're giant shad. That's what's making these these bass get full, happy, full of eggs. Look at that. Mega three fats. Oh my gosh. It's candy. Nectar. I'm confused. I might have kicked it over, honestly. I think I I don't know where I had it. I honestly don't remember. It was like, it was mayhem, like you said. Oh, dude, it's right there. I think it's right there. So it's right there. I bet it gets kicked over by me, either you or me. Yeah, it's like who cares about the rod? You're holding. <laughs> no, we don't. Tins. Yeah, we don't even care. It's finally like hitting us. We're processing right now, like what actually happened, um, and we're cooking some some elk chili. We're just kind of chilling to celebrate. John's dumping his footage. Somehow, in the chaos, a rod was lost. Someone said to me, you had the opportunity to catch three double digits, um, but you have to throw all your rods except one in the lake. I would probably slip and fall sprinting to the boat to throw all my rods and reels in the water. 100%. I think everyone would. This is the most unbelievable day. I don't know, really know how to end this video. I'm like dumbfounded about it. I guess, I guess the one thing I will say that I will commend John on is uh, not not even his fishing ability, which was amazing to, uh, well, first of all, I'll say 
you know, to our, our previous manager, Matt, now CEO, who was your tournament partner last year. You guys had a big squabble. Me and Trey fished together. You guys squabbled it out because you were so adamant about chasing fish on live scope. Yeah. You know, there was some fish that were offshore, and he was like, no, we need to go up shallow, blah, blah, blah. You know, like I went back and forth. work everywhere, though. No, it doesn't. But my point is, you guys got in a, in a squabble about that and fought over it, and I literally texted. I'll read the text that I sent to uh, to Matt to Matt. So this is what I sent Matt today because it just it just all came together. I said the dedication to chasing fish on live scope with John during those tournaments last year <laughs> had to be frustrating, but it all added up to the most epic day in Guggen fishing history. I just witnessed a man catch three ten pound plus bass in one day, and he watched all of them come and take it. John was meant for this. It was insane. So, I, I mean, it, that's what it felt like to me, being the viewer of watching that. I was like, this was meant to be. I will also commend you on releasing all those fish. Put them back. Put them right back. Like most people right there. would they put that multiple fish in the live well, maybe. Try to hold like two. I want to come back inch. here in 10 years and do the same thing. So that's why I'm trying to put them back. Exactly. You know, that was our goal. We're back there on the same page, which is good. But hey, listen. We got one more. We got actually two more days here. We got two, we got more, two more days. Two that's, more that's mornings. That's the insane thing. And they're all the same weather day. Like we're it's gonna drop down tonight. It's probably gonna get in the low twenties. We're gonna wake up. It's gonna be twenty degrees. There's gonna be frost in the boat. We're gonna get out there. We're gonna go even farther up the river. Run some new stuff. Mm. Mm. And mm. we might find something magical. Oh my god. We might. Matt, the, I can't imagine it being more magical than today. But just subscribe. Just subscribe. Stay Pelvic tuned. Pelvic thrust that subscribe. Pelvic button. thrust that subscribe yeah. button. This year is starting off with a bang. A bang. So uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Each and every single mm. video. Joining me in the, the great outdoors here. If you want to see uh, more videos of me and John, let, let us know in the comments. You know, well, do we it. don't fish enough together. I feel even like even if they but, say no, if we're gonna keep doing it. Anyway, yeah, it, it's fun. Doesn't even matter. But if you like it, you know, holler, holler back in the comments. <laughs> see you guys on the next one. God bless you in the great outdoors. Say it, yeah. Hey.